Alright, so let's pick up from where we left off. Uh, last time we had uh, this last piece of laminate to put on, which is on now. And I uh, just did it about an hour ago, so it's not fully set up, but it's set up enough. It's, it's not going anywhere. Um, I dropped a few drips of super glue in there just to make sure as insurance because I want to get through this project here. Uh, we have a little bit of a gap here from where we built it out so that we keep the shape of the circle. So what I did is just grab a paint stick. Uh, the ones from Lowe's are actually not as good as the ones from Home Depot, so use a Home Depot one if you got one. And I uh, put it in a uh, clamp over here, a vise, and I used a block plane to go ahead and bevel that edge. So when I slip it in here, it'll slide in on that angle for the most part. And I'm going to drop a couple drops of super glue in there and uh, hold that laminate in there so it doesn't have any give because right now there's just a little bit of flex but you know again once we get this thing all glued up I don't want any problems so maybe it wouldn't be a problem but no reason to risk it for the couple minutes it takes to do that uh, just standard Loctite super glue and you can get it at Home Depot or Lowe's real cheap stuff and again this is this is good stuff to have on hand if you don't have it just for any time you want to glue a piece of wood together real quick whether you're making jigs or something else like that it's uh you know, within a minute or two, it's ready to roll instead of trying to use some wood glue to put everything together. So this is definitely a staple to have if you do a lot of woodworking. Not for, uh, you know, fine projects when you're gluing up a whole lot of stuff, but again, for little stuff, it's, you can't beat it. Uh, we used the trammel, as you'll see in the detailed write-up, to cut this circle. And this is actually the top. I figured instead of making an uh, entire separate template piece, I'll just do it right on the top. And then I'll use this as a template and set onto this and route this circle out too. So I only need to make one circle that works perfectly and uh, it'll work just fine. So this is the ridge right here that's going to separate the top and the bottom and uh, this is actually the very top. I had it upside down here but let's see if I can do this with one hand here. I'll just set it on top of this and it'll slide down. There's going to be a little bit of friction, not a whole lot and it has a positive lock because it sits on that collar. There's a little bit of a gap here, and that's to be expected. This thing is not perfectly circled, so do not beat your head against the wall trying to get it perfect in there. Uh, you know, especially where this seam is, there is, you know, it's bent together and pulled together, so it's impossible for it to be perfect. But we can fix that with some caulk or Loctite, which is actually what I'm going to use to the power grab to to lock this in there, and we'll just butter it, back butter it here with our finger and push it around, get it nice and smooth, create a nice little bead there. But it's not going to go anywhere. I've done a bunch of dust fittings this way using metal against wood and uh, it stays on there for sure. So that's pretty much it. I'll come back and shoot some more video when we are ready to cut the opening here for where the dust is actually going to fly out of this thing. So, Alright, so now we got this routed out here and we got the center part routed out over there which is what we use as a template and uh, we're pretty much on to uh, final assembly now we're just going to glue in our fittings here and on the other one and uh, that's pretty much it the only thing that we have left to do is once we get it uh, down out of the clamps here we're going to come back and uh, finish up the, the cutouts here for where the dust is going to fly down but I just wanted to show you the way that this is clamped up uh, it works really good especially on a round form like this uh, first thing I did was set it right here, and then I grabbed two blocks. You know, you don't want to use something too thin here, so this piece of 2x4 works good. And you want to kind of push it under there like this is a wheel on a car or a truck. Keeps it sturdy. You don't want to use a wide clamp like a parallel clamp here because you can't put pressure too far across this. So, although we're going to clamp it down really good right here, we don't want to put it down with a wide clamp. So don't think that a bigger clamp is better in this situation. And then to hold these in place I just grabbed a larger piece of wood and kind of hit it in there really good to kind of chuck it in place on both sides and then clamped it down there and made it really nice and sturdy it isn't going anywhere you know I had a router sitting on here a jigsaw sitting on here so that's how to clamp this round form here and some other detail work that you want to make sure to take care of is you know around this edge here there might be laminate sticking up just to here although I tried to be as good as I could you know nothing's ever perfect in woodworking so you just want to come back with a file and a sander and smooth it out really quick before we're going to glue this top up um, and that's pretty much it um, we're wrapping it up here we should have it together pretty quick